While we're on the subject of propeller driven aircraft, let's have a look at the mechanics of a propeller. If you think about it, a propeller is travelling at a constant RPM. Right now, right in the middle next to the, uh, next to the propeller boss, in the centre of the propeller, that's travelling at a slower metres per minute linear speed than it is out here on the outside of the propeller. Still travelling at the same rotational speed, but because that's further out it's travelling faster. Because that's closer in it's travelling slower. Think a push bike wheel as it's running down the road. The rim of the push bike on the outside travels a lot faster than the um, hub in metres per minute. It's still travelling at the same rotational speed. If you think about it, then if that propeller was a constant angle of attack to the wind, then that will be making a massive amount of thrust and in the middle will be making very little, which doesn't really work so well because that means massive force far away from the hub, the propeller snaps. Instead what they do to avoid the propeller snapping, I'll move this way, I'll, I've got here a removed section. That's a word you haven't seen yet. Removed section. There's the centre line. There's the section drawn off the drawing with the centre line indicating where it is. Here in the centre of the propeller, it's pitched at a fairly high angle of attack to the wind. Because it's travelling slow, it's got a high angle of attack to generate high amounts of thrust. The propeller, which is also, as you noticed, airfoil shaped, out the end here, is pitched at a lot lower angle of attack because it's travelling at higher speed. Higher speed times the lower angle of attack gives the same thrust as the middle at a high angle of attack. So they designed the propeller so it's constant thrust over the um, length of the propeller blade to try and minimise the amount of um, the moment that's trying to snap the propeller blade off the boss here. 